here at the Massachusetts Tattoo Convention. At the DCU in Worcester, Massachusetts. We're taking a look at Troy Temple, working on this piece of art. It's kind of interesting. It's even uh, more interesting than the uh, clothes that uh, Mr. Temple is wearing. But not by much. <laughs> Anyways, um, when did you start being an artist? Did you start as a young man? I started this painting yesterday. Um, yesterday night, but I only worked out for like maybe 20 minutes yesterday. Yeah, no, I just kind of did a rough penciling. How long have you been uh, interested in painting, drawing, and so forth? I've been a tattoo artist for 25 years. Oh! And uh, I went to art school, so I've always been painting and drawing. Are you, uh, so you still do the tattooing? Uh? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I own Philadelphia Eddie's Tattoo and VillainArts.com. Oh, where, where are you physically located? In Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Very good. The, the city of brotherly love. Sometimes. Right? And the crack <laughs> fell. I remember when the mayor declared war on a section of the town. Do you remember that? Uh, which time? I've oh. done that a couple times. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Anyways, back to the uh, work that you're on now. Uh, what, what inspired you to do this particular piece? Um, actually, it was uh, the girlfriend said, hey, why don't we do a Reaper chick? And I said, all right, I like Reaper chicks. Let's do that. And uh, I did that one yesterday. It goes a little bit below, uh, below the table. I just did. You, know. you did that all yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I do a painting a day on the show floor. Wow. Minimum. Sometimes I do two. Okay. Do you uh, exhibit your work anywhere in particular? Uh, right now I'm just ex uh, building up a large collection to exhibit at the Philadelphia Tattoo Arts Convention. Last year I did a 70 painting uh, set that was all over eight feet, all eight foot tall paintings. Oh. Uh, this year I hope to do around a hundred on uh, display for uh, a gallery set. Great. I have other gallery shows and little little shows uh, set up. I'm, I'm looking for somewhere to do a larger show. Uh, I don't have one set up yet. Just uh, at the Philly uh, Tattoo Convention. Well, I think you're going to have to repeat what you just said because of the. Wait, wait till this guy gets off the um, gets off the loudspeaker. Uh, he talks a lot. Okay, what, could you repeat what you just said when I, I asked you about where you exhibit your work and you said about... I have a show coming up uh, February uh, 14, 15, 16 at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention. Okay. I'll be doing 108 foot tall paintings there. You're gonna do them, you're gonna do them there? No, I'll have a hundred. I'll be oh. painting live, but okay. obviously I wouldn't be able to paint a hundred of them in a weekend. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, great. Is, uh, have you ever been influenced by someone like Jackson Pollock or you know some of the action painters or anybody in particular? Uh, my painting influences include uh, Alex Gray a lot. Um, this painting isn't, um, you know, I, I'm doing a series right now that's real inspired by Alex Gray. Uh, you can check it out on my Instagram, Troy Temple, T-I-M-P-E-L. You want to get a little shot of that. Okay. Check out my Instagram and Facebook. Okay, one second. I'm going to do autofocus. Okay, got it. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you.